All right, today I have a Toyota key fob and I'm going to show you how to replace the battery in a Toyota key fob. All right, so right here I have the battery that I'm going to be using to replace it with the old battery. As you can see, the model number is 2032. If, if you can look on the battery, it says the model number specifically. It says CR2032. That's the battery I'm going to be using. Now, in order to access the old battery, what I'll have to do is open up the key fob. So right here at the key fob, I have to access the physical battery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. There is a switch right here. And so what I do is I pull this towards to the other side and the physical key can be removed. Now, the physical key is the first step in the to opening this up before we can access the battery. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this lever, pull it that way, and the physical key comes out. Now that I have the physical key out, what I'll have to do is there is a slot on the end right here or inside of here. And I'm just going to take it. And once in here, I'm just going to go ahead, get in the middle of it right here. You can see it right there. There's a slot. You can see it, see it a little bit right there. That slot right there. It's going to take the physical key. Put it inside of that and then wiggle it and it pries open. Now, once it pries open, you have access to the prize. No pun intended. All right, so I have this open and you can see the battery is exposed. Now, the flat side is facing up and that's important to remember for when you're putting in a new battery that the flat side is facing up and the nipple side is down. All right. So what I'm going to do is, if you look right here, there's some stationary slots right here, or holders in here, and there are some that move. Now, what you'll want to do is, you'll see that there is a slot right here, and you'll want to have some sort of tool that can get in there. Right here, I'll have the back of letter opener. Now, you'll want to use something that will not damage the key fob or the battery. So what I'm going to do is, I have the back of this letter opener, I'm going to slide it into the slot and I'm just going to simply pop it up like that and it comes out. And so now the old battery and I'm going to go ahead and discard of the old battery and then find a new battery, which I have right here. And I'm going to go ahead and open this up and pull this out. Now, the issue with this is it's kind of difficult getting it out. They make these really difficult to get out. And I think it's to actually prevent children from getting in here and swallowing the batteries or access to the batteries. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get the battery out, carefully not to damage the battery. I don't suggest you use this method on getting it out, but for the sake of the video, and I'm doing it this way. So pr proliferate the plastic, get the plastic out, all right? And once I have the plastic out, I'm just going to go ahead and take the battery, and this is the nipple side right here, and this is the flat side. Now, what I want to do is go ahead and take the battery the way it was. Is it on this side or? Oh, no, here it is, right here. So I open it up like this, and so what I'm going to do is I am going to take the battery, pull this board out so you can actually see, and I'm going to slide it into the stationary slots while the mobile slots are the last to be put in so like i push it into the stationary slots like yay like this flat side up and then i'm going to press down on the battery and it locks into place so once you have this you want to have put it back into the place where it was now this is facing down on this side so the back of it is facing down so remember how it is like this Let's go ahead and take that. Make sure it fits in there. It's not a, it's like a little puzzle piece. You can see the shape of this and you can see the shape of where the board goes in. So the battery is facing up on that right there. You see that? And I'm gonna put it back into place like this. And I'm gonna take the other side of the key fob and I'm going to press it until it clicks into place. And Going to go ahead and take this 
physical key and replace it and it clicks back into place. That's how you replace the battery on a Toyota key fob. Now it's important for you to read your owner's manual for your vehicle so you know exactly how to replace the battery on your particular vehicle. Now all vehicles key fobs may be different so it's important that you read and abide by the owner's manual for your particular vehicle. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks a lot for watching.